So I mean, for example, you could get a super intelligent AI that decides to get rid of people. And the obvious way to do that is just to make one of these nasty viruses. If you made a virus that was very contagious, very lethal and very slow, everybody would have it before they realized what was happening. I mean, I think if a super intelligence wanted to get rid of us, it would probably go for something biological like that that wouldn't affect it. Do you not think it could just very quickly turn us against each other? For example, it could send a warning on the nuclear systems in America that there's a nuclear bomb coming from Russia or vice versa, and one retaliates. Yeah, I mean, my basic view is there's so many ways in which a super intelligence could get rid of us. It's not worth speculating about. What, what is to well, stop What it? you have to do is prevent it ever wanting to. That's what we should be doing research on. There's no way we're going to prevent it from... It's smarter than us, right? There's no way we're going to prevent it getting rid of us if it wants to. We're not used to thinking about things smarter than us. If you want to know what life's like when you're not the apex intelligence, ask a chicken. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of my dog Pablo, my French bulldog, this morning as I left home. He has no idea where I'm going. He has right. no idea what I do. Right. I can't even talk to him. Yeah. And the, the intelligence gap will be like that.